we are back with another video and as you guys know today is august 1st which means we get our monthly revenue report from gotcha games or should i say mobile games in general so if you guys take a look at your screen right now you can see zone zero made a whopping 96 million dollars in just july then we have love and deep space then Genshin impact with 36 million star rail with 35 million uh dragon ball with 32 million and weathering waves with 29 million so why am i pointing this out well pretty much weathering waves has been overhyped weathering waves comes of creators their fans uh, just the glazers i've been saying that weathering waves is going to kill genshin it's going to dominate hoyoverse and look at this we are what like three months into weathering waves and they are nowhere near beating uh, Hoyoverse games. So along with this revenue report, we do have a lot of content creators who are posting the revenue report, giving their opinion about it. Then we have this comment right here under the thread. It says, May Hoyo always lies about their numbers. I don't believe it. I don't think Hoyo any Hoyo games can surpass Wuthering Ways. Poor on you, May Hoyo, stop lying. Which, uh, this guy's an absolute troll or his brain fell out. Um, it could be both. Uh, we don't know, but we're just gonna skip by that. I just thought that was funny. Then we have this guy right here. It says, keep in mind, it's only mobile. Wuthering also has quite an audience on PCs. Which, sure, they have an audience on PCs, but people uh, take this to the next level and say they say that over half of the players of Wuthering Waves are on PC and that they're missing a lot of revenue from PC in these uh, reports. And I can guarantee you that this guy does not know what he's talking about. In what world does a mobile game make more money on PC than on mobile? There is no way they make over half of the revenue on PC as mobile there is no way it's literally unheard of keep in mind guys this is after the whole genshin boycott was turned into a hoyoverse boycott uh star rails jade uh she wasn't as popular so i guess star world kind of got a hit in revenue uh genshin impact was dead it had no new characters it was pretty much just rerun characters for the past two months and they're clearly beating weathering waves on the dead patch compared to weathering waves overhyped character patch and this is after content creators like Asmund Gold were saying Zelda Zone Zero is trash, saying that Zelda Zone Zero is a one button mashing game, that it's boring, it's repetitive, the combat sucks compared to Weathering Waves, and all, you know, all the usual trash talk. And where are they now? Uh, they're just coping. That's all they're doing. They're like, oh, I can't believe it. There's no chance that I was wrong. And you guys pay attention. A lot of content creators have these huge egos who think that their word is the voice of the people. Which, in fact, it is nothing compared to what the actual players who are playing the game uh, think about the game. And the reason I say these guys have huge egos is because if you guys take a look at our good friend Reddit and under Gotcha Gaming, we have this comment right here. It says, this really is a listen to just ignore everything content creators say about the business side of gaming, which is absolutely true. Then we have this guy who commented. He says, I generally think content creators use their video metrics to make them think a game is dead or not. And that's also true. And a lot of content creators have been getting called out for this. They're like, oh, well, Zelda Zone Zero is dying. It's not as fun anymore. The viewership is dropping. Well, I uh, hate to break it to you guys, but as a content creator, it is your job to make the content interesting. That's it. Like, the, your decline in viewers is literally your fault. It is not the game's fault at all. I'm enjoying the game. A lot of people are enjoying the game. Clearly, $96 million worth of revenue shows that that is true. Let's let Weathering Waves die on itself. Um, it's literally going to go down the charts uh, from now on. They literally have the most overhyped banner, uh, which it still didn't generate enough revenue to even get in the top five. So yeah, that's that, guys. If you guys like the video, feel free to give a thumbs up and be sure to hit that subscribe button so you guys can get notified when my next video is. And let me know in the comments below what you guys think about this revenue chart. If you guys agree or disagree with my opinions, if you guys think it is deserved, that Zelda Zone Zero makes 96 million and Wonder Wizards in sixth place with 29 million. Let me know in the comments below what you guys think about this. I'm kind of curious. So as always, I'll catch you guys next video. Have a good one, guys.